hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math my name is varakumar today we are going to solve third problem from fifth chapter quadratic equations exercise 5.3 uh, see here what he has given find the roots of the following equations uh, so there are two bits in the third problem this is the first bit x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 here x is not equal to 0 since x is in the denominator he has given x is not equal to 0 so he has given x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 he has given an equation so here it is not in the form of a quadratic equation first we have to make it into a quadratic equation by simplifying it after making it into a quadratic equation now we have to solve but he has not mentioned any method to find the roots of the given quadratic equation. We have three methods to find the roots of the quadratic equations. A factorization method, a completing the square method using quadratic formula. So using those three methods we can find the roots. So see here uh, this is he has given. Uh, how can we solve it x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 has given so just to find lcm we get x square minus 1 divided by x is equal to 3 so find lcm here we get x square minus 1 by x is equal to 3 so from this take x to the right side so on the left hand side we have x square minus 1 is equal to so here uh, x is dividing if you take to the right side it multiplies so x square minus 1 is equal to 3x now take this 3x to the left side so we get x square minus 1 is there on the left hand side this plus 3x becomes so minus 3x is equal to uh, 0 so x square minus 1 minus 3x is equal to 0 but it is not in the standard form so now we have to write the decreasing order of the powers of x. So here x square, next we have to write x term then after constant. So it uh, see here how can we write. First write x square, then after x term that is minus 3x, then constant minus 1 is equal to 0. So now x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to uh, 0 so now it is a quadratic equation now we have to find the roots so now I want to find using the quadratic formula so see here x square minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0 Compa so comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 here the x square coefficient is 1 we get a is equal to 1 so here uh, x coefficient is minus 3 therefore b is equal to minus 3 and the constant is minus 1 c is equal to minus 1 so here we have to substitute these values in the quadratic formula so what is the quadratic formula so this is the quadratic formula minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so just we have to substitute the values we have minus b b value is minus 3 so minus of minus 3 plus or minus or square root b square that is minus 3 whole square minus 4 ac 4 into a value is 1 and c value is minus 1 divided by 2a that is a 2 into a value is how much 1 a value is 1 so now just we have to simplify it what we get so here minus of minus 3 we can get a plus 3 plus or minus square root of b square that is minus 3 whole square is plus 9 so here 4 into minus 1 is a, a minus 4 but minus is there minus 4 into minus 1 we get plus 4 uh, divided by 2 into 1 is a 2 2 into 1 is 2 so here uh, 3 plus or minus square root of 9 plus 4 is 13 uh, divided by 2 so now we have 3 plus r minus square root 13 divided by 2. So once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus here. So we get two values. So first I am taking plus 3 plus square root 13 divided by 2 comma 3 minus square root 13 divided by 2. 
so just once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus so these two are the roots of the given quadratic equation therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 3 plus square root 13 by 2 comma 3 minus square root 13 by 2 therefore therefore the roots of the given equation equal to 3 plus square root 13 by 2 and 3 minus square root 13 by 2 so like this we can find uh, uh, this is the first bit in the third problem next we have to solve second bit uh, this is the second bit in the third problem so again we have to find the roots of the given equation so it has given 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 is equal to 11 by 30 so here x is not equal to 4 comma 7 so see here how can we solve again it is not in the form of a quadratic equation so by simplifying it we can make it a quadratic equation so see here how can we simplify so just to find lcm so here we can get 1 into x minus 7 is x minus 7 so minus 1 into x plus 4 is minus x plus 4 uh, divided by here x plus 4 into x minus 7 x plus 4 into x minus 7 is equal to 11 by 30 so just i have found lcm here so x plus 4 into x minus 7 is the lcm here x plus 4 x plus 4 gets cancelled x minus 7 into 1 is x minus 7 so next write minus uh, x minus 7 x minus 7 gets cancelled x plus 4 into 1 is x plus 4 so again uh, what we get from here see uh, write x minus 7 uh, multiply with minus we get minus x uh, minus into plus 4 is minus 4 uh, divided by x plus 4 into x minus 7 so multiply by x into x uh, uh, directly I am multiplying I write one step x into x minus 7 next plus 4 into x minus 7 plus 4 into x minus 7 is equal to 11 by 30 11 by 30 so here xx gets cancelled uh, uh, we have minus 7 minus 4 is minus 11 divided by so multiply x into x is x square x into minus 7 is minus 7x so plus 4 into x is plus 4x plus 4 into minus 7 is minus 28 is equal to 11 by 30 so we can cancel 11 and 11 here uh, by cross multiply uh, before that uh, what is there here minus 1 divided by x square so here minus 7 x plus 4x we get minus 3x minus 28 is equal to 1 by 30 so by cross multiplication what we get see here uh, minus 1 into 30 minus 1 into 30 is equal to so 1 into x square minus 3x minus 28 so minus 1 into 30 is how much so here minus 1 into 30 is minus 30 so minus 30 is equal to x square minus 3x minus 28 take this minus 30 to the uh, right side already here we have x square minus 3x minus 28 this minus 30 becomes plus 30 is equal to 0 so finally we get x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 so now it is in the form x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so now we have to compare Com so comparing with a x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so here x square coefficient a equal to 1 so here x square coefficient a is equal to 1 and the x coefficient b is equal to minus 3 and the constant c is equal to 2 so now we have to substitute these values in the quadratic formula so what is the so this is the quadratic formula minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a so we have all the values just we have to substitute in the formula so see here what we get minus b so b value is minus 3 minus of minus 3 plus r minus square root b square uh, b square is minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a value is 1 and c value is 2 
uh, divided by 2a 2 into a value is 1 so just i have substituted the values in the formula so minus of minus 3 we get plus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 whole square is plus 9 minus 3 into minus 3 so here 4 into 1 into 2 4 into 1 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 so square root 9 minus 8 divided by 2 into 1 is 2 so we get here 3 plus or minus so root 9 minus 1 is root 1 root 1 is also 1 only so 1 divided by 2 so here we get two values for x once you have to take plus and once you have to take minus so we get a 3 plus 1 by 2 comma 3 minus 1 by 2 so just once you have to take plus and once you have to take minus so 3 plus 1 by 2 and 3 minus 1 by 2 so 3 plus 1 by 2 is 4 by 2 and 3 minus 1 by 2 is 2 by 2 so by cancelling with 2 we can get 2 2 sir 4 2 1 sir 2 so we can get 2 comma 1 therefore the roots of the given equation are 1 and 2 therefore therefore the roots of the given equation equal to 1 and 2 so this is the second bit in the third problem there are only two bits in the third problem so we have completed the two bits so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching